Hello everyone. I hope you're doing fine. Welcome to Async API Conference 2022. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Pratik. I am a student, a technical writer and a computer engineer currently studying in India. I am an open source contributor and a technical writing intern at Async API Initiative. During the past few months, I had the opportunity on working on generator tool documentation as the part of Google Season of Docs program 2022. While working on the documentation, I got to use generator and play around with some of its features. Today's conference, I will be walking you through a beginner's guide on some of the generator tool use cases. After that, I will be also giving you a demo on how to generate documentation with Async API generator itself. Before we move forward, here are the things that we are going to cover in today's talk. What is generator? In this section, I will be covering what generator is and what it can be used for. When we talk about generator, there are two components which are very essential to the generator library. In this following section, we will be discussing what these two components are and what is their purpose in the generator library. After that, we will be discussing why we need generator in our application or projects. After that, I will be listing down some of the use cases of the generator tool. And finally, I will be giving a demo on how to use generator firsthand to generate documentation for our application. What is generator? Generator is a tool that we can use to generate whatever we want based on the async API file as an input. We can use it to generate things such as code, documentation, diagrams, microservices and various other applications. As long as you can define it in your async API file, there is no limit to what generator can generate. To specify what exactly must be generated, we need to create a template. A template is just a set of files where you describe what should be the result of the generation process depending on the contents of the async API file we had provided. So we just encountered two new terms here. The first is async API file and the second is template. What is async API file first? Async API specification file is a YAML or JSON file which we provide to the generator as an input. This file can be both in the form of YAML or JSON but in most cases it is in YAML form only. Generator then fetches the contents of this async API file using a library called as Arburst. Then generator produces the output primarily based on the contents of that async API specification file. The following image shows how a sample async API specification file looks like. This async API, this async API specification file is a dummy file we can use in your projects. You can find it on async API's GitHub repositories. In the following demo, we are going to use this same file to generate documentation. Template is a project that specifies what exactly you get as an output using generator and the async API file as an input. As opposed to as opposed to async API file, generator knows what to generate because you supplement it with a generator template. Async, async API has a list of readily available templates that you can use in your application. Some of these templates include Markdown template, HTML template, uh, PHP templates, Python templates, and much more. You can find all of them in Async API's official GitHub profile. Why should we use generator? While working on the GitHub generator, I realized that generator is very quick to set up and easy to use on a regular basis. Generator is perfect for effortless of complex documents. As we discussed earlier, there are number of community maintained async API templates that you can use directly in your projects. 
generator helps in generation of interactive and understandable API documentation. Generator has a built-in command line interface support. There are some use cases of generator. Generator obviously can be used for basic code generation. It can be used to generate documentation in the form of both HTML as well as Markdown. Generator supports both of these formats for document generation. Generator can be used to produce microservice applications. There are multiple templates available which help generator in producing Java or Python application. Along with that, there are many use cases you can find in the generator tool. Before you actually install the generator tool, there are some requirements we need to meet. Generator in it is a Node.js application. Therefore, you need to have a Node.js version 12.16 or higher in order to use the latest features of generator. You need to have an NPL version 6.13 or higher. After the requirements are satisfied, you can install the generator library globally to use its CLI. The following npm command will install the generator library globally on your local machine. If you already have the generator installed on your local machine, executing this command will update the generator on your local machine to its latest version. Demo. Here I will be giving you demo on how to generate markdown documentation using async API generator and a template. So as we had discussed, we are going to generate documentation for both HTML as well as markdown with the help of generator templates and async API specification form. The, in the screen, you can see the sample async API specification file that we had discussed about in the previous slides. We are going to input this async API specification file to the uh, generator. Also have an HTML template. This template is developed and managed by async API and you can use this directly to your projects. You can just copy or download this folder on your local machine. Here I have loaded this HTML template in my VS code on my local machine. So the first thing we have to do is download the generator library. If you do not have generator library installed, it will obviously install the library globally on your machine. And if you have the generator library already installed, it will update the existing version to the latest. Here it is downloading some libraries. See, the generator library is installed in our system. So in the next step, I am going to produce the output documentation. So the first argument is EG, which stands for async API generator. The second argument is supposed to be the async API file that we are going to feed as an input to the generator. So I am just going to copy down this link. The next argument is the template that, that you are going to be using. So here I am using uh, HTML template and the next argument is the output flag along with the folder in which you want your output to be. So the generation process has begun. We can see the output is generated in the folder HTML node templates. Let's take a look at it.
As you can see, the documentation for the HTML template has been updated. The output is fully based on the contents in the AC KPI specification file. Everything along with title, code contents, and code blocks are all fetched from AC KPI specification file and displayed as an output. We will be doing the same for markdown template as well. Just like the HTML template, AC KPI specification file. For the templates, we will, we will be using uh, a temp markdown template provided by AC KPI. Just copy the code for download the zip again. So here also I have loaded uh, the markdown template on my local VS code. The step is same. First, we give the G which stands for AC KPI generator. Second, we give the AC KPI YAML file as an input to the generator. The third argument is the AC KPI template of choice. Here it's markdown template. And the final argument is the output flag along with the folder. So as we can see, the markdown file is generated with the same contents, but this time instead of HTML, this file, this file is in the form of markdown file. Everything down from title to a table and all of its contents are exactly same as HTML, but the format is different. The content again is fetched from the dummy async API file. As you can see here, this template has a section for hooks, which we talked about. This section contains pieces of code, which help us enhance our generation process. Here, we have been given some supported parameters that we can use with our async API generator library. So as sidebar organization, base rev, version, single file, out file list, PDF, config, etc. This supported parameters helps our generator achieve many things. For example, setting this PDF flag will also download a PDF version of whatever our output was. For example, the documentation which are generated along with the HTML version or the markdown version, a PDF version will also be generated on our local system in the same folder. And in, inside the readme of every template, there are development hints given. Along with every template, there are uh, details given in the readme file, such as uses, supported parameters, development hints, and contributors. Need to mark down. Here we have various supported parameters such as front matter, file name, EOC, version. As out file name, for example, uh, gives the file lib of the output file. POC, for example, if we set it to true, it will include a table of contents in the output markdown. Here also we have various sections such as users supported parameters development and contributors. Generator CLI. Gener so a basic command to generate output has three main components. First is the AG. AG stands for async API generator. The second component is the async API specification file, which will, we are providing as an input to the generator. The third is the HTML template we are using. Here you can use any template you want. And the final, uh, and the final component is the output flag and the folder name in which the output will be saved. Uh, thank you so much for joining me in this talk. You can follow me on Twitter at Pratik Haldankar. You can follow my LinkedIn as well at the same address. Thank you so much for having me.